Okay. Um, so, yesterday, this engine fired up. The ET8 fired up, ran, and then ran away and locked up. So, I'm just going to take a quick look and see what uh, maybe happened. Um, I got this from Banggood. So I think, well, they have a um, return and repair policy, so look and see how bad this is and then find out uh, what can be done about it. Um, first thing I'm going to do, and this is probably wishful thinking on my part, is pull the head off and see if uh, maybe it's just locked up because the um, piston o-ring, because that's rubber, uh, has wedged into the cylinder and is uh, jamming it up. Ah, I suspected that was the case. So uh, the valve push rods are held in uh, with little indents in the rockers and indents in the followers. So if you get one of these, make sure that you have your or rather, if you fiddle with the valves on these, make sure you get them adjusted properly so they'll hold the pit push rods in place. <coughs> All right, the uh, head gasket definitely has the ring on it showing that the liner is what's sealing the gasket, so that is also good. Ah, oh, there's some retainer on these bolts. But I'll t touch a white retainer on the end of those, which is something that hasn't been on any of the other engines so far. Uh, this is the little muffler that came on there. It's a cute little built-up thing out of odd parts, and the Exhaust valve is covered in carbon, probably from the run at the factory. I know these get run in at the factory before they leave to make sure that they are working. So it's part of the reason I'm really um, surprised that it ran away so fast. Uh, there's the throttle body with the Throttle body there and all right. So the way to get the piston out of these is to take the whole liner out. So I'm going to take the big end off. And my furnace just kicked in, so that'll be some great background noise.
little bit of oil is going to take that sharpie right off later when we run this. So this marked really well. Definitely oil on the big end. Oh, yep. That must be what happened. My guess was correct. Because it's free now that I have the piston disconnected. cylinder is really tight in there. Let me wow, I've never had the cylinder liner be so stuck in one of these. They usually slide right out. They must have a new sealer design that they're using with these now. bearings off of there. Those are really vacuumed on there real good. There we go. bit of scoring on the inside so maybe I'll try to polish that. A little scoring on the inside of these bearing surfaces so I might try to polish that. But for now what I need is something flat to go across the end of that connecting rod. And just a bit of a turn there to provide more pressure. There we go. Alright. Oh. Yep. I can see some material coming out the uh, sides there. Um, ooh, I wonder if that's what happened. Yeah, I can't get that apart without a press. So, um, I don't know if we can see there is material here and here that looks like steel uh, so my guess or aluminum because these pistons are aluminum um, so it oh and there's a big scratch on the side here um, I wonder if the because the connect or the wrist pin pin here has been loose in the other engines. I wonder if that wrist pin rattled against the side and uh, caused a little bit of friction. Um, but that is definitely stuck in there. So I'm going to have to get a hold of the manufacturer and see if I can get uh, replacement for this because getting this pressed apart and finding out that's scored really bad and the pistons damaged is going to be far more than I can deal with with my limited tools so now we know what happened to this um, cool hopefully I'll be able to get a hold of some parts and get that fixed soon 